So Brent, let's start right off with you. Lamp fear. Sorry. And you're very much the follow up from our annual meeting. You might want to come up here so that Matt and Savannah can hear you. Please. Matt, can you hear me? Uh, well, this this is just the, the follow-up from the annual meeting we had when we met to go through the budget. We were talking about the new rescue tool, trying to split the cost with the two towns. Um, we never really got the yay or nay for both town because Eden did apply for a grant and they did get turned down on it to purchase these tools. So we're just trying to figure out if both towns still want to do it, if we want to pass it up for now or what we want to do. Does everybody remember the annual meeting? Mm -hmm. Rippy had the one concern about the battery with the tools. He had asked that we try to switch it to the M18 battery. Uh, so I think Brent gave you guys a copy of it. The total cost of the tools would be $44,130. Oh, I have $49,015. Oh, mm -hmm. Then I have the wrong slip. And it says M18 on this here. This is the old one. Okay. So the updated price this is, is what you have. Okay. I don't have that in front of me. So that's okay. your updated price. Okay. As of whatever date that was. 6-3. Yep. And then we were going to throw in $3,000 from our association. Eric Aether, the past chief, didn't want to do a retirement party. He asked that we would do something like this in his name. So we're going to pull 3000 out of what you're looking at, the... 49 that would bring that total divided by two. Okay. If that makes sense to everybody. <laughs> and <laughs> refresh my memory on why these were needed. So what we have now are about 20 years old. Okay. Um, they still are working. They're hydraulic. The goal was is to start purchasing toward what the town department has so that we don't all have to keep buying the same pieces. Well, you could end up with one complete set with the two departments. Oh, okay. So like these tools work with the two that Ryan currently has. He has a combi and he has a cutter. Building the system in the both sides working together, well, could potentially save a total cost for both towns at about $100,000 a piece. Okay. So if we go forward with these to work with what they have, Ryan might buy one other separate tool at some point, which could complete the set to work together with. What you have. Okay. Go with these, yes. The batteries all work the same. Okay. Uh, and like I say, ours are, I think, 18 years old at the time. They are working. They're the hydraulic set. They're going to fail. We're going to start putting money into them. They are smaller tools. They're going to fit on that new truck better to outfit it. Um, the way that we're going to switch things around, hopefully, is these tools will go on that truck because it's smaller. That's going to be like our everyday truck for normal calls compared to taking the big truck with all the big tools on it. We could roll out the door with the four in the new mini and have these tools sitting on it for a <clears throat> we call it easier extrication. Okay. But not selling the old tools at this time because there's no there's no market value to them because everybody's switching to electric. So the whole world of hydraulic tools is bombarded. Is give them away or keep them yourself. Right. Just as a backup for right. something. Mm -hmm. Matt, did you have a question? I saw you come off mute. No, I I had to come off mute because I my phone wasn't working. I, I'm good now. I can hear oh. everybody. I, I got half the conversation. Sounds okay. like he's there looking for more the jaws of life or whatever those things are. Right. Are we looking at the ARPA funds for this? I think that's what we talked about um, at the meeting. Um. I'm looking at the ARPA list. I don't need a map. Brian, have you gone? To, have you gone to Eden yet? Has he, has Eden? I think I think Eden meets. Savannah's trying to talk. They meet this. Oh. Can you unmute her? 
You hear me? Yeah. Savannah's trying to speak and we can't hear her. Sorry. I'm looking at the ARPA list right now, Mom, because I think that we did say we wanted to use ARPA funds and we were going to wait and Eden was applying for the grant. Right. So I talked to Eden. Eden's actually the one that reminded me that we haven't really made a decision. So they're talking about it next Tuesday because you guys were on the same night. So they meet the first and last like you used to. Is that correct? So they only because I always have to flip flop when I come here. It's the following two weeks I go up there. So that would be the right. So they will talk about it for them. Whatever their first Trump meeting is this shoulder. month. Oh. Or they talked about it at the last one. One or the other, but I haven't heard back from her yet. So I'm guessing it's the first Tuesday of August. They're going to make their decision. I feel like we had already made the decision that we were doing this. I wasn't involved in I that. think the question was at the annual meeting because when we had sold both trucks back, I didn't know if we were going to try to utilize some of that money that went back to the towns not necessarily the ARPA funds because we wrote the two checks back for 135000 so we were asking if there was a way to use some of that toward outfitting the new one because we made triple the money on what we thought we were going to Right. Have. So I don't necessarily know that they were talking about ARPA funds at that yeah, time. I don't think we were. Either. And I don't even think a decision was made because I think everybody wanted to wait to see how we did it with the grant when they filed for that. I think there was a conversation with Jen about how we couldn't transfer that money, though, Chas. I don't think we could bring that money back. That's a Jen question. Hi, everybody. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Uh, so that was a sale of a vehicle, and it's in the vehicle reserve, so we can't use those funds towards the equipment purchase. Um in the equipment reserve, there is $43,000 um, available to spend before the new year transfer. I think it's another $12,000 for $25,000. So you didn't want to add twelve to that. And then, yeah, there's, there's ARPA funds that we could use. Uh, left after possible votes of obligation is still $56,000. It's really up to you guys how you want to do it. Brent, would you be susceptible to pulling out of your reserve fund? Well, would you would you be okay with pulling reserve funds from your equipment reserve? Well, that's between. Well, do you have other things in in the future that no. you're thinking about? Nothing that we want to put budget. Okay. That's a question for Ryan. Also, but he's got something else he's coming up with that can be shared. Is it shared, Jen, between the two departments? Yes. Okay. I don't know. Do you know if he's got any wishes? I don't know if he does. He has a problem with my attention. Yeah. Savannah says she's unmuted. Uh, no. Can you press Savannah? Can you press six on your phone? Would that do anything? Yes, yeah, you're in the car. <clears throat> Don't throw it out the window. <laughs> we could put her on speakerphone. Yeah, we could call her. Call her. She'll call me to my. Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe she heard that. Welcome to Verizon Wireless. Welcome. Oh. Hello. 
Hey. Hey, you're on speakerphone. Okay. Did you have something you wanted to say, ma'am? No, I've been just trying to talk to you the whole time, but oh. no, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> so nothing important then? <laughs> no, I think it's a great idea and we should use whatever we need to use to get it. Um. What about using, because our portion would be what, 23? 23 $7.50. We could maybe do half out of the equipment reserve and half out of ARPA. Does anybody have any thoughts on that? I like that idea. Nicole? That's fine. I'm just <laughs> checking with Brian. Yeah. Oh, okay. He's at a, I think they have a meeting. So 23075, so I could do half reserve. What do you think of that? Chaz, does Eden have their portion? They are going to be talking about it at the next meeting. Okay. So this is on if they're willing to do it as well. So they have to okay their side of it because if they say no, then we're not going to support Right. But if I know that you guys are willing to go forward with a plan, then when they tell me, then I would just let both of them know. Yeah. So this is because I just don't know. Mm -hmm. So the money from the truck sale, where what does that get used for like in the future? Equipments. I mean trucks, sorry. Okay. Sorry. So like, trucks. I'm just wondering because like according to this, ARPA was already used for fifteen thousand dollars up toward their new truck. Correct. So, but he sold the old, oh, so that's just, but he, so he didn't have that money to get the new truck before he sold the other ones. Correct. Right. Brian said the only thing is turnout gear in the next year and the tanker in the next few years, 20 years old next year. That, that's not the tanker, not equipment, it's a truck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, that's, 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 that'll be a vote okay so well, we're doing the tanker and we'll go home. turn out turn here. out here okay well let's someone want to make a motion for this one oh that's me um i make the motion with the um as long as eden approves it i guess that we use half of the reserve equipment fund and half of ARPA fund to fund our portion of this purchase. I'll uh, second that. All those in favor? Signify by saying aye. Aye. Okay, opposed? Or no? It would be best to, to get the amount <laughs> oh. out of our portion so she knows. Oh, yeah. Right. So oh. 23000 Seven dollars and fifty cents because that's taking into consideration the three thousand dollars that they're taking off from their um association fund. Yes. Twenty-three thousand three hundred and fifty cents. Where'd you get 20, the fifty cents? Because it's an even dollar, and then when you oh it, you divide it, it yeah. divided by two. Yep. Yeah. So an even dollar split <laughs> into two is fifty cents. Twenty-three thousand seven dollars yes. and yes. fifty cents. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's a calculator. My brain would have never figured it out right now without a calculator. Okay. Trust me. <laughs> so just keep us updated on Eden. and. But your final number was $23,000. I just took the I just took the forty nine fifteen and took $3,000 off and then just find it by. Yes. And update on the truck, I think it's going to be done in the next three to four weeks. Awesome. Um, it's coming together fastly now. Uh, so that'll be a bill, hopefully, in the next five to six weeks by the time they get it to New Hampshire, outfitted with the shelves. I get the equipment down there and they mount it. So hopefully, the next five to six weeks, the truck we've been waiting for for two years is going to be here. <laughs> <laughs> Best I can tell you on that. <laughs> but she's looking pretty. She, yeah, Chaz looks like I could figure out a way to send them to you. I hope you can see them. Well, see the yeah. pictures. Cool. Thank, Thank you, you, Brent. Mary, would you like to come on up? Um, 
So uh, this is a particular thing. So last year, you know, we did the um, pilot herbicide treatment six sites under um, a Department of Ag permit. And the seventh site was the town gully here. I don't know if you've driven around and seen any of those sites, but it's pretty effective. The gully has a problem in the sense that it has um, multiflora rose, which is another invasive plant in there and glyphosate isn't effective against that. But if you go to just the pure knotweed sites, the one on Cleveland Corners um, and then the one on Longmore Hill uh, and then several out or Garfield, it's great. So this year we've applied for a permit to do the second, because usually you do two applications. You do the first year and the second year. And um, we applied for the permit because the permit has to be in by the 1st of April. <clears throat> Even though you don't know what the knotweed situation is at the 1st of April, but that's the regulation. And so we put in the permit application. And so the idea was that we would just treat the six sites again, seven, including that, but that's not subject to the permit because uh, it's not in a right of way. Um, but since the the impact of the first treatment was really great, there's there's very little that we need to do. It's quite small, <clears throat> sorry, small treatment, not much knotweed, et cetera, not much um, product. So the possibility arises that we might do something slightly different, modify the plan a little bit for the herbicide treatment this fall, because two things have come to light. First of all, there are two sites that um, I've talked to Mark about, and they're both uh, pretty hairy. One of them is the, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, Centerville Road culvert that just got repaired last oh, year. Mm -hmm. So if you've driven past it, you may or may not have noticed that on one side, the, what would that be? The east side on the south is a big patch of giant knotweed. Oh, it's know. just Japanese knotweed, but only bigger. And then on the uh, west side, on the north side, uh, there's a patch that was there before and I knew would come back and I thought we could mechanically control it because it wasn't very big. Well, it's really quite big now. And both of these are, I don't know, sort of directly in Mark's right of way and a problem because they're, they're going to get bigger. So the idea would be to treat that, give it its first year treatment. And then the second one that sort of registered, because again, it just got a lot bigger is the, um, there's a, is it a culvert, Mark? Uh, the, on the north end of Brook Road, there's a big, big culvert, box culvert. Box culvert. Oh. Mm -hmm. And on the east side, there was always a little patch of knotweed and now it's just bigger. And um, I've talked to, so so anyway, the idea would be to include both of those. We'd modify the treatment plan to include both of those sites. And um, I, I, I think Mark is supportive. I think um, our committee thinks it would be a good thing to do. Um, although we haven't had a committee meeting about it specifically because we've been out pulling knotweed. So we need to have that. But anyway, if you guys were agreed, I'm sure we would all agree. And um, so the, the 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 benefit of doing it is because neither of those sites are easily mechanically controlled um, because of steep banks and culverts and things, and they'll be a lot smaller this year than they will be next year or the year after. So that's the proposal, and um, uh, I think I was going to say something else, but I forgot. But so the, the idea then to do that, we have a permit in place, but we would need to modify our management plan. I would need to write to the Department of Agriculture and I've talked to them in principle about this, but it would need to be approved by you. And if they said it was okay to do, then we would factor it into the treatment that we would do in early September, subject to speaking to each of the property owners and make sure they're all happy to do it, which I haven't done yet because I don't know that there's anything that we're going to do. Uh, I think that's it. Cool. So do you need us to, okay. Oh, sorry, there is one. Other okay. That I forgot to mention. <laughs> uh, yeah, I do. I think I do need to ask, uh, have you agree to doing that because I'm kind of modifying our management plan and you did approve the work we did last year. Okay. Well, you know, I've mentioned several times as I've come before this committee, uh, the select board to say, 
it would be not, we don't actually have in our budget. Last year, we spent $700 ish. Jen knows the exact number, but I think it's 700 something on the treatment because uh, we have to pay a licensed applicator for his time and for the um, herbicide. This year, it couldn't be more than that because mm -hmm. there's less to do. Uh, uh, right. I don't think either of those sites, I mean, they're just two sites and then, you know, I don't know, but it'd be on the order of the same amount or I would say that's a conservative number. And I keep saying, could we take that money out of ARPA to do this treatment this year? And I think I keep getting kicked down the road. So <laughs> I'm asking it again. <laughs> and, uh, so yeah, that's those are the two two questions, both related. One is the project, and two, can you fund it? Oh, oh not wait right there. I'm sorry. Um, the first road, what was that first road that you mentioned? The Centerville Road, the Culvert. Oh, no, Centerville. Centerville. Oh, Centerville. Yeah. yeah, yeah, the one yeah. that just got replaced. Yeah. Um, I can't see it. I just, just oh, I don't it. think you ever put me on the list. I've asked many times. Well, you're on you... here. Oh, I... oh, but that was for the goats. No, fencing for goats. Oh. Remember when we did that? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. I do. Good idea. <laughs> so, yeah, that's all that's on here. That's on there, but that's been funded. Okay. The, the, I don't know if you've actually officially put me on the list. No, we no, haven't. I don't think so. This is the list. It's nice to have this. It is. Where are we at? Over here. 54, right? No, okay. six. Six. Um, Okay, well, do we, does someone- I mean, you can break it into two sections. You can agree with my plan and then we can figure out how we're gonna pay for it. I'm fine with that. <laughs> Mary, how much are you asking for? I'm sorry? How much is she asking for? I, I, I think last year it was about $750 to do the seven sites. And of the seven, if we went to retreat all seven, I think we'd probably have 10% of the knotweed that we had last year to treat. In other words, it's hardly even a job. So I, I can't really get a quote on it because it's not really worth it. It's, it's, a, it's a couple of hours work, three hours work. Well, what? Just call it a thousand. Are we talking like like five seven hundred dollars, seven fifty? Okay. M my take on this is obviously, if it's in the right of way, we're paying mowing fees. We're paying someone to mow the side the side roads. We would be paying our town guys to do it. I'm just going to go out and say let's. I'll I'll make a motion to give her seven hundred fifty dollars out of ARPA. And just to encourage you further, if if the knotweed <laughs> eroded at either of those sites in a in a flooding event, your town the town would be paying to fix the problem. I think, mm -hmm. or somebody would. Anyway, yeah. So Matt, you want to make that that we're approving that she can do the herbicide on those two sites and. That you're willing to do. This? I'm gonna say I'm gonna I'm gonna stay in the same lane I did last year as long as she's pulling all the permits, as long as she's doing everything safe and doing the notifications with all the well stuff or whatever they do, it's above me. I'm I'm okay with it. Okay. I mean, we I think if you talk with Mark, what Mary's doing is a, a big I mean, ro the mode side rowing, like we can't we can't mow that. So we as a town would have to do something, you know, visibility for a lot of these intersections and whatnot. Seven hundred dollars to me seems reasonable. Do I have a second on that? I'll second that. <laughs> All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed. Abstain. Perfect. I'm going to keep that motion back. Yep. Yeah, it's probably a good idea. Motion made by Matt Warren to approve amending the herbicide treatment plan and approve $750 of our funds towards allowing treatment. At the two sites. 
she's staying. No more opera for you, Mary. Oh, what'd you say, Matt? Sorry. No more opera for you, Mary. <laughs> Mary, thank you for all you do. Okay, Lamoille Kennel lease update. Oh. But that's what's in your report too. But well, just just an update compared to my uh, I okay. did update uh, the sheet to the kennel. I think all the repair works are completed. We are just waiting to get the final receipt and get some information okay. filled out from the contractor that uh, did the work. Uh, Wolcock uh, Select Board has approved to join us in this partnership with the interlocal agreement. We just got to change a date on there and I'll sign it and get it to them. Uh, for them to sign, I bought asked a lot. I also asked them to return it uh, with their select board minutes showing that they approved the interlocal. So we just had that verification. Perfect. Um, Johnson is still requesting the information. So I've given them uh, an overboard of information to see what Thomas and Johnson wants to do. Uh, you see my response on what Eden has stated. Yeah. So we're still waiting for the other two towns uh, to move forward. So okay, great. Thank you. Okay, your monthly newsletter, Justin. It's looking great. If there's any comments, please let me know. Uh, we discuss briefly on Bridge Sheet Denied the animal licensing and ticketing procedures. So we'll move on. Either clear make sure that that is stated correctly or remove it from the newsletter until et cetera. Okay, sounds good. Okay, highway. Do you want to have them go first so then they can get out of here? Okay. Do you want to sure. introduce yourself and I'll come up with it. Okay. I'll give a little back. Okay. Let's that? make sure Matt and Savannah can hear you. Chad, let me start real quick. Chad <laughs> called me about opening up a trail or another road for, and my thoughts on it. And my thoughts are, well, open them all because this town is so divided by blacktop and with all of our dirt roads are open anyway. So when Chad and Chad are like, what are you saying? So, well, somebody should talk to the board about it. I think his ideas are great, but you can go with that. I kind of support it just because they've been so good to work with me. Okay. We've Good had to know. a couple very few issues that I called Chad and immediately they were taken care of. Calling me and I, I, don't, I think it's hours and Mike had an issue taken care of. Well. <laughs> but it was, they've been really good to work with her. Okay. And there's there's uh, some other stuff that we want to do, like in the trails that we currently have. Um, I want to build aprons, stone aprons. So that way, when we do come out on the road, we won't have any mud coming out. Dirt road and asphalt, same thing. All of our tra trail entrances will have 25 to 30 foot stone coming out in the in stone aprons on the side. Okay. Um, just to eliminate the mud in the road. And the reason why I brought this up, Mark, was just to get try to get us to more businesses in town because if we can't get to the businesses, the businesses are losing out on that money to look at Newport. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Mm -hmm. And I live up there and it's, they're all over the place and there's very little issues at all. Yep. Um, when we were in Johnson, we were actually told that when we were down on Main Street, we actually slowed traffic down. Um, right. So I that bet. was one nice thing, but being able to get to Tucson Bakery, spot where we could pull people down to go to lunch or breakfast or whatever, mm -hmm. um, or to the VFW to support them. Uh, we have our meetings there, so it'd be nice to be able to ride to our meetings. Yeah. And so I brought it up to Mark. I said, well, open them all up. It was my choice. So it's kind of why I'm here. And then plus uh, brought Mike with us too, because, you know, he's he's a half mile from both trails and he can't get from his house to I the got to my wheeler. I had to too. Yeah. yeah. So if it was I, open just up the road from my yeah, house. <laughs> if we opened up everything, then it would be an issue for any resident to be able to ride and to get into it. 
And then it would also, it wouldn't funnel everyone down one way. It would kind of, hey, let's go this way today and go around this, go around town and let's go this way. Okay. It would funneling down the same, all of us going the same way. Now, I just have a question because I'm not sure. The village is, is where Two Sons is. Do we have the authority to give permission for them to go into the village? Or would that be, would they have to talk to the village board? Does anybody well, know the answer road. to that? So you're giving permission to go on town roads. The village on the road, town on the road. I was going to say the town maintains the road. Is that right? I think I would feel better maybe talking to them, though, just because we're... Right. Yeah, just as far as the village goes, right. just, you know, we want to maintain a good relation. Yeah. Yeah. Check all the answers. Yeah. I, and then I, nobody can say anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just because we're trying to keep open communication yeah. with yeah. them. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Matt, Savannah, do you guys have any comments or thoughts or? I'm 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 kind of for this because we have the same issue. We are right next to the trail, but technically we can't drive on the road to get to the trail. So. Yeah. Matt. I'm all about promote. I'm all about promote business. I I'm I would probably receive some backlash, but I'm 150 percent behind this one. <clears throat> I, I I think it's no different than an on our on on an on road dirt bike. You can you can get you know you can get those registered and you be on the road. It's no different than I mean you drive a jeep. It's the same thing. I mean I don't know. I I've, I've always felt like we we do half the roads and say yeah go ahead and drive on half our roads and then. We mandate the other half. I think it's. Well, I have a question. Sure. So I'll have the unpopular opinion. That's okay. <laughs> so I don't really know how this works, but I, what, what concerned me about this is Hyde Park becoming a destination place for all kinds of people traveling around so that the roads were just full of ATV traffic all the time. And I, I mean, I I totally support the idea that, and I, and I know you don't. It's not, you know, there's no way to fence it off. People locally wanting to use the roads, I can get that completely. But I don't know. It feels like it would transform the town if it became a destination zone for that. Now, I can see why you might support it because you just want people to do that because it's good for business and whatever. But it it. it I'm not, I'm not sure what that looks like. I don't think Hyde Park's necessarily a destination. No. We connect. We're like in the middle of lots of trails. Correct me if maybe yeah. you should answer this, but I, I feel like we're in the middle and people can't get from like Wilkett to Johnson because Hyde Park's roads are shut. So it's more of going through Hyde Park, yeah. more yeah, so than right. a destination yeah, kind of thing then do you open up the idea that it becomes a destination for a lot of people from for down south? Well, for the last yeah. year, it's been an open, open. So okay. like Center Road, for example, is mm -hmm. open from McKinstry Hill to the Fork Orange. Right. Yeah. You can't go no further than the town line. You can't go into more so. Yeah. It's just going to really allow the taxpayers down there to be able to legally Right. Yeah, I, mean, I, get what you're saying. I, I get what you're saying. That then if it becomes this great, vast, connected trail network of four towns that you can go all over, do people from Massachusetts start coming up and then you have weekends? So, well, what, what do we have here? Yeah. It's a, like, uh, not a big Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Not connected, a new, totally connected trail network. Yeah. yeah. Well, we, we take yeah. off our like four wheelings. You know, we got our family with us, my kid, girlfriend, her kid. We go to like where there's a big restaurant and like Newport, Orleans, you know, now you go to Island Pond, you know, and they've got towns that have multiple, you know, Mooresville would have been a great one, House of Pizza, all that, at least one. That's not us, but we don't have none of that. We're just trying to get the taxpayers so we can go and enjoy that without trucks. Yeah. So I guess my my comment would be um, perhaps do it with some reservation, like 
I don't know, try it for a year or two years or something if they're all minded to do it. I, I, I just, you know, there can be unintended consequences. I guess you can always reverse it. Absolutely. Uh, yes, absolutely. If there, if there's lots of complaints, if there's lots of issues, for sure. I mean, I think we had reservation. I mean, I wasn't on the board when they first opened all the trails, but I don't think there was a lot of issues. We haven't had a very right? many issue. I've been president. I'm going on my fifth year. Okay. And I've probably had five phone calls in five years for the whole for area. The roads that we have open. Oh wow. And I've, Okay. And then we go out every year, we pull our signs, we put mm -hmm. our signs up. Well, have... One of your guys found my wallet at a not lose site. That's my wallet. No. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> the guy taking out an ATV sign drives up my road with my wallet. So, oh. You know, was lovely. That was so, nice. You know, we, when we get calls, I get calls at 10 o'clock at night. Uh, okay. And, hey, I got someone going fast by my house. Can we mm -hmm. put a sensitive area sign. We'll sign up the next morning. Yeah. Okay. Um, you know, Mark has issues. Hey, I got a hole on the side of my road. I need it fixed. Okay, let's get it done. It was three days and it was fixed. Okay. Um, we have very little issues. I mean, Newport opened up their whole city. Right. And Newport is, yeah, that's where my camp is. And it's we went up there just to give you an idea. We went up to Hobies. We had 14 rigs. Oh, wow. Just our pad alone was $1,400. What? For, For all rigs. of your. So yeah, so that's the but they're not people, thirty people. But they're not like they're not ever like they're very. It's I. I mean, well, we haven't had any. We haven't had any issues. That lady came there. out. The road seventeen years time. old. She says, "Thank you guys. Yeah. We were dead. Right. It's their business. Was, I made nothing until they opened this up. Now you guys tip good, you know. And I, I mean, we weren't the only. Just our group was fourteen hundred. So I mean. And there was probably three other groups in there. They went from being completely dead to she's like, it's amazing. Yeah. So sometimes with a drink like that. No, <laughs> me too. But like I said, yeah. like I think the village, we just need to yeah. to check oh, with with their board. They, their own board. they do, yeah. But and I just it's not always big groups of people either. It's true. No. You might get well, one, it... two, three machines. And yeah. it's... Since the first year, I ride by myself now. Yeah. Because I'm not a dust eater. Right. <laughs> um, speed limits. I hate the speed limit at command five for all ATVs, or do they obey the open speed limit? How does that work? So the speed limit um, is, I, I believe, it's 25 miles an hour for ATVs. I don't know if you on that, Mark. I think it's 25. Mm -hmm. Um, but we do have signs that are, you know, if we have a sensitive area, sensitive area, we can put a 15 mile an hour. Um, we don't really like to go slower than 15 because it's really slow. I and mean, if you have a mile that you got to go 15 miles an hour, um, it takes a while to get there. So if we had, for just for instance, if we had someone reach out and it's like they're going too fast, and if they wanted a sign that said, you know, My name's sensitive area or whatever, then Absolutely. you would be willing to like Absolutely. put different signs up for that if That's something we, occurred. So we have to do we could maybe even going. add so, something if we're going to do this, add something to our website, our new town website yeah. that says, and in fact, it's kind of yeah, do obey the law. Yeah, I'm just telling them on the way in because I rode West Virginia. I mean, West Virginia, you can go anywhere except for the interstate, which is weird. Yeah, it's it's. You imagine going up, you know, like Route 15. No, that's a destiny. I mean, I'm on a four lane right. highway on a four wheeler, and I'm like, are you even sure this is with anywhere? And but down here, you know, it's the half wheel McCoy trails. There's that's how they make their living without um, four wheelers. They want their mining town would be done, right? Yeah, right. lady in the bar and restaurant bar. We went to, and there's probably a hundred wheelers there. She said, without you guys, yeah. Would yep. be nothing. Same with Pittsburgh, New Hampshire, right? Gorham, all that. Without those four wheelers, girls, yeah, them towns would be done. There wouldn't be no business. It would now, like Pittsburgh, every hotel you can't even get a place. No. I mean, book. You go to a restaurant, ah, and I don't care which one you go to. Everyone, pizza. So I mean, the four wheelers in in 90 percent. Our families they're, and they're not out raising cow. I mean, you always are going to have I don't know. the one on Cooper Hill that comes down and whips his donut. 
Yep. I know who it is. Oh, no, I do. And he's not even legal. Uh, you know, he's just a kid. But uh, we don't technically no, no. want no helmets. Right. And we're yeah. off road vehicles. We want to ride on trails. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, but it takes getting roads open to get the the town kind of used to us because it is a new growing mm -hmm. sport. Right. Snow, uh, snow's not here no more. So snowmobiles are going down and people are buying side by side four wheelers. Mm -hmm. uh, so we don't technically want to ride roads. We don't want to ride roads, but we need the roads open to be able to find them landowners that do like us to say, okay, well, sure. let's cut a, I'll let you cut a trail from point A to point B. Okay, now we can come down this road and take the trail and walk all the way around yep. to go where we want to go. And then it's just kind of once you get the roads open and get the town used to us. And once we can start building more trail, you'll see less traffic on the road because everyone's going to take the trail to True. the next point. Yeah, because I mean, about here, I don't have any trails. I mean, I went yeah. on, was it Morgan? Morgan, uh, um, Charleston. Charleston. Oh, they're all over they up there now. They want the money. Yeah. There. Charleston opened up their whole town. Yeah. Yeah. But you okay. take all them places down the boom dogs that have nothing. Yeah. Now they've got some. Yeah. So I, mean, I used to say that about Hyde Park because, well, once again, right. I mean, besides in town, do we even have a restaurant in Hyde Park? Just two sons. That's what I mean, but that's it, right? Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, it's not like this would be a yeah. destination. That's true. You know, for like groups of people to come. This is, why would they come? It's just like a, it's just a Merging. way to get through. So it, far as the roads go and the stone aprons he's talking about, like that's, you're all good oh, with yeah. all of this and supportive of that. Yep. Okay. Like I said, everything I've ever okay. had a problem with, they reacted okay. quick, took care of the problem. Okay. Never had to call you twice on. No. Okay. Do you have an ATV? GMA TV. But I was thinking more for, you know, I thought it was very unfair to a lot of taxpayers mm -hmm. that can't get to the trail. You know, half a center of And I also think it's harder for the enforcement because where's the cops and where's legal? Yeah, exactly. It's like, well, some roads are open, some aren't. So what? They don't know. Yeah. yeah. I, mean, no, I, I, don't, I don't expect them to know. But it's right. Yeah. I got stopped at Harvey's bit. I was checking out. I was telling you yesterday, yeah. checking out the, the concrete thing here. And I was like, I'm going to call back when Melvin was alive. I was going to call Melvin and see if I could steal it. But it was, it was <laughs> a, I thought it was a, a, a well thought, but it, it was for like draining. It, it was at a bottom and Nothing I wanted, but the cop pulled in behind me. Uh, and of course, he yeah, had me. I mean, I, I weren't legal. I mean, but I asked him. I said, am I legal? He didn't know. He, yeah. he didn't know. Yeah. And we do have more law enforcement this year. We got a, every plug got a, a budget for law enforcement. Oh, okay. So I had to fill out a, a form of what dates, what time, where I wanted them. Oh, okay. Uh, so there is more in law enforcement this year than there was last year. Okay. Uh, Morrisville. Uh, Morrisville Police Department's doing it, I think. And then with the sheriffs, and then we also got the game wardens. And the game it's it's yeah. Okay. Yeah. But if we put that, that's a hot spot. So we put them up there on the weekend. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so you do that. I didn't realize. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they're up there quite a bit. Okay. Okay. Well, would someone like to make a motion for these guys? I'll make the motion to open open the roads in Hyde Park for ATV. Right? Okay. And do you want to add on about also, the village that we're going to speak with the village about oh, yes, that yes, area? Yes, yes, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I agree with that. Yep. After checking with the village. Yep. I'll second it. Village roads pending custody approval. Yep. Everything yeah. else will. And Matt seconded that. Seconded that. So all those in favor, signify by, by saying aye. 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 Opposed. Or er, yeah, opposed. Abstain. Cool. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And um, we'll be in touch. What's your phone number, Chad? 802. Yep. 323. 4426. Okay. So we'll let you know about the village and what. If they want to speak to you or whatever, we'll let you know on that. Okay. Cool. 
Cool. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Thank you guys. Yeah. Okay, Mark. Roadside mowing. Did you find somebody? I found somebody who might be interested, but I don't okay. know if we can pay him. So I come and talk to you guys. Oh. Well, I want to make sure we have something set in stone. That's a good idea. Um, oh, I don't know. What do we pay Dad? I don't know. Maybe paid him 19 last year, Chas. Okay. 19. That's not on here. Has has Steve indicated what he's looking for, Mark? No, he has not. I just wanted to see if my crew was all on board with helping out. And I haven't really talked to him my crew's all on board with helping out, but I don't know what to talk um, about. I don't really want to be. I don't know about you guys, but I'm, I'm comfortable with 20. I mean, everything else has gone up. I mean, but I don't know. It's um, about impossible to find anything less than that. It's not me, <laughs> Thank you, Mary. <laughs> Mary wants to make sure Mark does the not weed mowing. Um, okay, so do you guys? Yeah, yeah. Why don't you see where that goes? Just okay. sort it out. Okay. It's okay. Uh, paving and culvert. I'm going to mark these on there. Oh, okay, uh, too. The, the one for the culvert, Mark expressed his concern. They wanted to get the car, the, the culverts done first. Mm -hmm. So I had the RFPs uh, submitted. We've okay. already received a couple of uh, quotes. And then I'm thinking what what's going to happen is as soon as y'all decide what uh, special meeting that you want, you're coming up here in a couple of weeks that uh, me and him will get together, we'll, we'll put it on the spreadsheet and give it to you and then provide our recommendations and we'll have your role to move on who you would want to do. Okay, perfect. So I'm planning on having that. It. it should be ready to go uh, after that. Okay. And then the paper will be done shortly after we get the calls changed out to eliminate less hassle from the market and his crews and get those done since it is in the roadway where it was to finish. Okay, sounds good. And we have the Mark, is that all you had? I'm hoping so. I'm very good. I was just going to say, I won't go continue. I just we tried to lump it together. together. Just because this is at the bottom, and I don't know. What about the, and this is way down here, the speed limit signage. Like, what is, is there an update with that? As I said in my report. <laughs> I, listen. As I said in my report. I looked at it. At the end of my report, I will have it to you at the more, uh, uh, for me next month. Next month, yep. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was it was at the end. I may have started to, to fade out towards the end. <laughs> so yeah, Mark, I think you're okay. good if you want to yeah. head out. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. I did look at it. <laughs> again, and again today. Thank you, guys. Have a good night. Yeah, you too, Mark. We received a couple of the culvert nothing for the keeping it. I get that put out for Yes, we, we have a plan for the culverts to be replaced first, and then the paving will be already ready to go, and then they will pave over right those areas. Okay, and the union contract looks like we have an agreement, which is wonderful news. Um, and I think we're good. We don't really need to do any more. You're going to send us uh, off, the, right? It's like the bargaining agreement. We don't need to do anything. The only okay. thing I'll need to do is send them an email, uh, showing the old figures, new figures, and just by them confirming the email that they agreed Perfect. to this, and then I will attach it with our current, uh, like the bargaining agreement. And that's all I need to do for this year. Cool. Until we go into talks with them in January for the for the big one yep okay great okay interlocal agreement renewal is that this all four towns have signed all of the four towns have signed okay great this one um 
July 1st is the Johnson Select Board meeting. That's when my updated letter of hire will be presented, I presume. And then July 3rd, that payroll is when all five accounts will be on the same time sheet. Okay. So we don't need, do we need an action item or a vote? Okay, Let's say, I think we already approved this, right? I just need to sign it. Okay. you approve me to sign it after I think that's what I did at the last meeting um the update from Brent did you guys take a look at that do you have any questions for him on any of his very detailed information he gave us no I appreciate it I know it's nice isn't it yes the only thing I'd like to add to that is since we are starting to move forward, taking baby steps with our funeral, we are trying to look out to the to the future. And Allie brought up a great idea. I figured I would just ask Bill just to verify, even though I think you would just allow me to do it. I just want to make sure that the select board is on board with us. So if we do have an opportunity for an animal to be fostered. Would y'all be in disagreement to, for me to allow uh, for us to use a Facebook page just to show a picture and have a fostering, you know, looking for a foster family for that home? Because we're going to look at a time because we are paying, you know, fees and like like we were discussing earlier, we want to give this animal every opportunity to get a better home from where they came from. But there's going to be a time either not not a kill shelter, but right. there there is that. There is that inevitable question mm -hmm. if we had to. So, if this gives us an opportunity to foster, would we, uh, would, would y'all be in board for Allie to move forward with that show picture? We're going to do a good, you know, simple bedding so we're not taking it out of the fire into the frying pan per se to try to find, because I know, uh, I know she has vast more uh, resources to that compared to I, you know, compared to me yeah. here, but I think it would be a great opportunity for that as same as uh, looking at uh, asking for uh, if somebody just wants to donate, they, they can send a, a check here to the town and then I can get with uh, Jan and Allie on how to properly appropriate that to where if say if it needs some serious bedding, you know, yeah. you know, for mm -hmm. the vet or other type of stuff that we, that's allowable to use that funding for, that we would make some not for profit, but it right. would help us reduce our, our our veterinarian bills. Again, we're just thinking of the future, and we're hoping that that the select board is on board with that. Oh, okay. Do you guys have any thoughts on that, Matt, Savannah? I think it makes sense. Yeah, I do too. Allie, do you have anything to add? I see you're online. Well, of course I'm here. Um, <laughs> I, <laughs> I didn't know also if you guys um, had any thoughts on, you know, how we could do some some fundraising for like what Brent explained for dogs that maybe need some extra care. Um, you know, some specialized food in some cases, things like that, where it's not coming out of, you know, town budget money or ARPA funds or whatnot, where we could just have like, you know, a fundraising fund. <laughs> I don't or know how that works with them. towns. Jen, is Neither there any, I. Jen, is there any like, they can send donations, but I'm they can the fundraising way unless yeah. Allie has some people and they want to have a, a weekend type of event right. there the and they can donate there, but it'd be strictly donation right now because let's get it rolling first and then yeah. But if somebody wanna donate and if Jen sees that there's no issues with I feel being transparent is is instead of doing a GoFundMe or something like that. Right. Send it to the town so we can see where that fund is. And of course, I know it's going to go in the reserve, but we do have, we can create a line item for maybe that. in the future for that moving forward. 
Oh, right. Help eliminate, you know, sort of like how some of our committees. Exactly. I was just going to say, like the not, like the not we. Mm -hmm. with, with the shelter or veterinary fees or something. Yep. You know, and then just start narrowing down what we can use it for compared to we're going to blow this. No, it's strictly meant, you know, sort of like with the, the fire engine exactly. budget. It's strictly for the new okay. kind of stuff. They recommend doing a like a kickoff event that once it's open, say we have a day from nine to twelve or ten to two or something where people can go up there and look at the facilities with like a little donation jar, maybe a few face painting type of thing or whatever. Oh, get people involved and know what's out there and where it is. Yeah, maybe. Did you hear that, Ali? Did you hear Justin's suggestion? I did, and honestly, I would love if you guys would like to organize that kind of event. I think it would be good if you know, some some town people like maybe Brent and somebody from the select board were there to, you know, answer questions that I may not have the answers to if they have questions about the kennel and everything. Um, I think it'd be good to to kind of showcase what we're trying to do and maybe people would be more on board. <laughs> yeah. OK. Yeah, we can talk <clears throat> more about that for sure. We just want to throw the ideas out there. Yeah, great. I know this is different than, you know, past ACOs. <laughs> right. Asking you guys questions and everything. But me and Dean are pretty invested in this. So, you know, we're we're trying to do best by you guys and best for the animals that come through there. And Yeah, for sure. No, I appreciate it. So, yeah, let's keep this conversation going for sure. And if anyone has any ideas... Put them out there. Backtrack on yeah. two different agenda items. Yeah. Um, the first one is the, actually yeah. Um, the newsletter. Do you mind just sharing your opinion or your standpoint on what was in the newsletter and how the procedure has been working so far as like the ticketing process? Were you talking to me, Justin? Because I didn't hear half of it. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, in the newsletter, I mentioned the ticketing process. Uh, do you mind sharing what you and Dean have been working on, what you've been doing for the tickets, how that's been working? Yes, absolutely. So uh, we, after you guys did the town warrant for the unregistered dogs that were, you know, previously registered the year before, uh, Dean and I got together and we issued um, tickets to the people that were on the list that Kim gave us. Um, we ended up sending out, I don't have an exact count, but it was between like 15 and 20 tickets. And uh, Krista has collected $150 worth so far. So people, those people have come in, paid the waiver fee, which is half of the amount. So uh, we ticketed them $50 because it was first fence. So they paid the waiver of 25 and then also registered their dog. So that process is working. Um which is very nice. So if you count it up, uh, was that four or five, six people out of, you know, that 15 to 20 have come in. So, I mean, that's, that's pretty good. And is your intent to only use the, that list as submitted, or will you be doing property inspections too, to go to the houses and check on the animals? Yeah. So that was my other question. Do you guys approve of that? I, I, uh, was unclear, like if you guys had already you know, wanted us to do a kind of dog census per se. I mean, me and Dean are fine doing that. Uh, but we just want, you know, some clear identification, not necessarily, you know, like a magnet on my car, but, you know, like I'm showing a, you know, a badge of identification type thing. Like, this is who we are. This is why we're here. And we would only go to the houses that are not on the list of registered dogs in the town. That seems really invasive. It it, I mean, I mean, look what happened tonight with Mary, who went to talk to somebody about not weed. Her face ended up all over Facebook because somebody caught them on her camera, and all she was doing was going to there talking about not weed. Yeah, like, right. That seems very. I mean, I don't have a dog, but I'm telling you what, I've got cameras all over, and somebody comes knocking on my door, there's going to be trouble. <laughs> I mean. Some stranger, yeah. It does hold it just seems very. I mean, you've got this is this is Vermont. I mean, I can tell you right now, yeah. there's going to be 
people aren't going to be happy about that. Yeah. It just seems really I kind of agree huh? with this, but I'm also like, I don't know, you, you have to register your dog. Like, it's the rule. Yeah, but I think there's got to be a different way to do it than just knocking on at doors like that. Maybe letter. I, I, <clears throat> I think I think we... But like, have dogs. I think we, Can we, yeah, send... A, so are we talking about, like, say I just know somebody that has a dog, but they're not on a list that they registered a dog. Are you talking about going and talking to them? No, she's talking about just going to everybody's house that's not registered, that doesn't have a registered dog. Oh, okay. Okay, I was talking about, like, you just know somebody doesn't, doesn't yeah, have I think their dog it's registered. One thing okay. if people like report that they know that there's a dog and they're questioning it, but just to knock on people's doors just randomly, it's just weird. Yeah. Well, just mind you, this idea was not mine. I don't even know where it manifested. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, did you have a thought? Can you hear me? Yes. Yep. Uh I I would definitely not put Allie at that type of risk personally. I don't think we need to go house to house by any means. I think that if someone gets caught with an unregistered dog, then the fine, especially if you've sent a notification, then we, we implement a higher fine. Yeah. Well, that leads me to my next question. Um, I did email a copy of Montpelier's ordinance to Brent. Um, I didn't think we were going to bring this up tonight, but uh, I think you guys should really consider raising your fees. Um, like, for instance, Montpelier starts at first offense is $100 with a waiver of 50 oh. And since we're talking about ordinances... Read that and then we'll bring it to the next meeting. Yeah, yeah definitely. And yeah. while I mentioned it, I think we should revamp the whole ordinance around that. I mean... Dean and I are definitely on board with that. And I don't know how close you guys look at them, but ours is like letter for letter the same as like Johnson and Wilka and Eden. And it's, we got to change it a little bit. It's going to be different. Yeah. Yeah. We'll bring that up at the next meeting. Perfect. Okay, Dick. Oh, what? On um, the interlocal. Oh, yeah. The motion was to approve the six hours, but it didn't approve you as time. Oh, okay. Do you want to? I move the chastity sign the interlocal. Is that all you need? Does that work, or do you need me to add something else? There's a, a specific motion. If you want to just read that, mm -hmm. then that would. Oh, right here. Okay. okay. Read the exact word. The motion to approve the interlocal agreement by between the towns of Johnson, Hyde Park, St. George, Berkshire, and Sheldon for shared assessor services, serving five towns um, beginning on the date of the fifth town signing in the agreement. Do I need to read it? It's in there. You need it? So we just, yeah. So serving five municipalities. For the term beginning on the day of the fifth town signing of this agreement through June 30th, 2025, unless extended by writing by, in writing by all parties. Thank you. Can I get a second for that? Oh. I'll second it. I'll second it. Oh, all those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Oppose. Abstain. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So I will sign that. Are you good? Okay, so I'm moving along, That's right? It. Uh, ARPA funds allocation. So thank you, Jen, for leaving this here. Um, Matt and Savannah, you guys aren't here, but she left us a nice spreadsheet. Um, there is- Jen, will you email that to us? Yes. So I highlighted the fencing for the town cemeteries of 20,000 that was a possible obligation that was talked about um, early on it was asked to stay on by Susan I reached back out to the cemeteries and didn't really get a response okay I don't know if I want to leave that as a possible obligation and I just were bringing their finances in next month um, I don't know if you want me to leave it there on the table for 20000 or try to reach back out to Robert Foss. Um, like you next don't week. even remember what that 
it, they wanted to do some like repairs and replace um, fencing and add like rural signage, I guess. Okay. I don't, I don't know much more than that. Yeah. If you could reach out maybe one more time and if there's no response, then yeah, then we can okay. put that money somewhere else. And once we close the year, I'll have a better um, estimate on what we could use to cover over exp expenditures and FY24. Okay. Other than that, you guys made some obligations tonight. So great. I'll update that before I email the spreadsheet um, okay. by the end of the week. Great. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Well, and, and now I think we have an ARPA request. <laughs> Hopefully the last one. <laughs> if, if you read the letter that yeah. I attached with the three quotes, it is uh, formally requesting ARPA funds uh, for the upgrades, for the office space, uh, for the improvements, uh, for security, and a camera system in the amount of uh, $11,000 or $11.99. Okay. Um, and that would include the upgrades to the office uh, and for the doors, for the uh, door unlocking system mechanism to allow people to come in and out because you do realize there's a lot of times where there's nobody around. We only have one female up there, so it'd be nice to have that. And then the added security of the cameras, which is a Wi-Fi system to where we can face towards our door, towards the back door, and towards our parking lot, and towards this parking lot. Uh, so that would just give us that amp, uh, security. And I know a lot of people roll their eyes about that because we're a small town. This is the first small town that I haven't seen any top security system especially when we have females at times that work by themselves or sometimes there's just one by themselves after hours. I was going to say late and at night I, sometimes too. Yeah. You know, since it's a Wi-Fi system, we'd be able to keep the main server secured in areas where it could be hampered with. And I'd rather be safe than sorry myself mm -hmm. personally, mm -hmm. other than I'm ready to get my office. So, um, so speaking of that office, um, I have a question about, Jen, we kind of talked about this one day when I was in the office, but but about the locking of like the bills and the payroll reports and things like that. Yes. Um. So when you guys move over into that area, will you guys have a, a, a locked door to that area for the finance side of things? Or what are we thinking on that? Have you thought I'm about that? Jen's office will be totally secured both doors. There is going to be a separate a wall separating my space at first, so okay. that, that door will be locked. Okay. And the lock will be on Jen's side. So, okay. you know, and then there'll be a solid door to where when residents come in, that is all going to be redone there with a solid door. Mm -hmm. So they'll not, I mean, they will be able to look and see, oh, there's where they keep everything. There'll be a solid door there just, to, and then a camera's going to see if anybody tries to get into that location now. If there's added security that Jim wants, we can make sure that happens. Yeah, no, she didn't mention, she didn't. No, this was on, yeah, this was me, like was, just wondering. Yeah. And I'm, that's why I'm thinking again with the uh, the camera system, uh, that would be just hopefully an added deterrent when people look around looking for that stuff and they see that that might help deter some, you know. Right. Right. Okay. Um, Matt, Savannah, do you guys have any questions or thoughts on that? I think it's a necessity. Yeah, mm -hmm. I do too. Matt? I'm comfortable with it. Okay. Um, yeah, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> the office space would be a sensor that would need some type of electrical cable run to the other space. So that might be additional cost that you'll see eventually coming towards you. And mention the highway department. I think the security is a good idea. Mm -hmm. And recalling when that runaway guy hit it up at the mm -hmm. department. That's right. Oh, we want to have security up there as well, just for future consideration maybe, or 
now, but how about that? I, that's not a bad idea. I know, we're going to approve yours, don't worry. <laughs> I can I can get another system. I can get a sister system to make with this. So I was thinking, let's look into that. Let's look into that. Yeah. We'll just add an, an additional six ninety nine. Get another full care system. To get that set up there because it will be under Wi-Fi as long as we're with. I think it's three and twenty feet from the main box to the camera. That should be plenty of room and less interference with that building. That's a joke, but I can double check. Yeah. Um, what do you guys think about cameras at the town garage too? No. I think we yeah. have enough Is we there? have enough money and equipment there to be protected. I mean I'm I, sorry. You could run it by I said I think you have enough money and equipment there so that probably should be protected. <clears throat> I mean, granted, we we did have a uh a, a, a fugitive that camped out in our backyard right. there for three months. So our three days, but yeah. I, I, I don't, I don't think we need oh. to go crazy to where we're putting them on every one of our working guys or anything like that. But I think that, you know, at least protecting our assets isn't a bad thing. This is what Apple was really set out for. Right. And we do have to allocate the funds by this fall. So. I think we should talk to let's, let's approve this and then let's, talk to Mark and see what he thinks he would want and need up there. And then maybe we'll do a separate one for that cool. system. Yeah. You I know? think we can let Brent yeah. even, yeah, we can, we can delegate Brent to talking with Mark and figuring it out. Yeah. You and Mark can maybe yeah. work together on getting yeah. something for Just the car. Get a quote for your cord. Yeah. Yeah. Not too. <laughs> okay. So you want to make a motion? For oh, this? I make a motion that we approve Brent's quote for eleven thousand nine hundred eleven dollars and ninety nine cents for his um, for the request of office repairs or office enhancements and the um, provided security equipment. The re requested security equipment. And the I already did that. that. She did that. So. Yeah. No. <laughs> Do I get a second on that? Yeah, a second. Okay. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Try to do that first, we don't forget. Do I have an eye for you guys? Oh, we lost aye. Savannah. Uh, we lost Savannah, but I'm sure she'll come. Oh, there she is. Okay. You back? Yep. Okay. So we, <laughs> you did say aye, okay. She said aye, okay. Thank you. Um, personnel policy, Jen, still working on it for us. I haven't heard anything from the town attorney okay. about about it. And then Brent said he, he was going to work on trying to do some sort of sick policy. Okay. That he had he had something that he could work on. Okay. Yeah. Um, let's, we'll do Wayne's electric last. So, okay, Jen, let's see. You need approval for the wage updates, mm -hmm. which obviously are what we approved for the budget. Oh, so did everybody have a chance to peek at that? Mm -hmm. Okay. So can I get a motion for that? Mm -hmm. I make the motion to approve the wage adjustments for July 1st, 2024, as presented. Do I have a second? I'll take it. Okay. <laughs> All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, abstain. Okay. For you. So okay. Down here. And then we have, oh, yep, we need the. A motion read retro. Okay. Okay, so a motion. So you need to approve Jen to sign and to use ARPA funds. Right? Yeah. What's the matter? Well, how do I word it so that for the retro date part? Effective 
Okay. So I, well, I just wanted to make sure I was I know. processing how to word it. Um, I move to allow, approve Jen to sign the revised website, um, web service and sales agreement and use ARPA funds in the amount of $3,200 for first year expenses um, dated May 28th, 2024. Oh, then asks about any additional costs, overage costs. So what is that? So there, when we did the site map for the town website, uh, we added a few pages for some new committees that we don't have currently. Um, and any sort of additional content is like $3 per page. So it won't exactly be 3,200 and was just curious if you guys would want to cover the overage for that with ARPA funds. Oh, um, yeah. So you're saying overage, it, we're not talking like thousands. You're saying maybe a no. hundred? Yeah. Okay. okay. So maybe we say 3,500. But are we allowed to do that with our Oh, funds? probably not. You That's what to, up to I mean, y'all y'all did it with Allie when we initially started okay. the deal, so I would say okay so up to up 35 to, okay up to 30 so change okay. that 32 to up to 3500 I can button it up towards you know uh end of August September so we okay. have better figures to work with too okay okay can I get a second on that please I'll, I'll second it that. okay <laughs> Okay. Matt, do it. Sorry. You both did at the same time. It's fine. <laughs> I beat you, Savannah. Matt got that one. Um, all those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Post, abstain. Perfect. Okay. And then highway, the paving. Can I please have a motion? Okay. Okay. So I just make that motion? Yep. Um, so I move to appropriate the $215,000 in unused paving line to the two FY25 to the newly established highway road construction reserve. That's for paving though, right? That that we put that reserve in for paving? Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be used for that, yeah. I'll second it. Okay. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Uh, opposed, abstain. We're okay. Um, let's see, Jen. I think we took care of you, didn't we? Except for the Wayne's Electric. Yeah. Um, are we gonna have enough signatures for me to send bills tomorrow with the town warrant? Um, no, but can, well, Matt, can you swing by? I can come down and sign them. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Jen, very much. Okay. I have a haircut at three, three o'clock. Does that, does that work, Jen? Yeah. yeah I'm, actually, I'm actually not in the office tomorrow, Matt, but I was going to have Chris to send them. I'll just, I'll let her know not to send them and I'll just do it on Thursday. Well, I, I come down tonight and sign them. No big deal. I'll, I'll run down right after the meeting, sign them. Yeah. We're all like, uh, okay. Um, so Wayne's Electric. Okay, I was we just short story. If you look, I attached the email uh pertaining, pertaining to Wayne's Electric Bill. Uh Jane brought it to my attention. I personally didn't know anything about it, nor was I brought in to the loop. Uh until after the fact, I uh, reached out to Wayne to get a little bit more understanding of what you see the email uh, that I provided. Uh, I pretty much asked him the same thing. And after having previous Hold on, Brad. Well, I, I, I missed this conversation. So yes. Wayne's Electric was for what? What was this for? Inbox. Check your inbox, Matt, and look at the okay. end of the attachment, sir. Okay. 
But anyway, yes, I, I missed that one. For some information, this is what he gave me. Uh, I then in turn asked him uh, after having a conversation about getting more of an itemized bill, as well as how they were talking about this as a project that was ongoing. If you could give me uh, a quote for to finish up the job since it wasn't uh, apparently done. And this is the latest bill that I received from him uh, where I didn't get an itemized bill, nor did I get a quote for finishing up the job here at the town. And we didn't want to approve it because it is a lot. So we figured we would get with uh, the select board to see if they wanted to move forward with payment. Um, I think, Matt, does this ring a bell to you? This project and all of this? I, I've got to get to the bottom because I thought I read everything, but apparently I didn't see that portion of that. Yeah, no, sorry, this was a late entry. I printed it, but I just barely sent it to your inbox. So if you go to your inbox at the top of that, you'll see an email from me at like 648 or something. Because it's for work down here. Yes. Correct? But I, I guess I thought it was all done down here. So I, I think that's why I'm... I'm struggling, but he didn't let you know the he hasn't replied yet on the work that needs to be done. No, which I that's did, I yeah. Did respond asking him to okay. give me or when when I asked for this building that I provided mm -hmm. to the select board, I did ask during that same time if you could give me a quote on what the labor is going to be to finish this job, and he did not provide. Yeah. Nor did he say, hey, give me a second, I'll get that to you later. And okay. he just said, you know, here, here you go. Okay. Um, and I I did talk to Susan today, and she doesn't have any recollection of this herself, um, but wasn't near her computer to read the email. So she because I, I I I I after I'm after I'm reading this, I feel like we send this to Ron and ask Ron. I mean, it looks like Ron was running a lot of this. You know, if I'm reading through this, Ron Ron approved his services. Did you do? Uh, and then it, that, she she Kim sent out. I know, do have a Susan Bartlett from Ron Matt, and he Yeah. Said, I'll pull it up, sir. Yep, we did reach out to Ron as well. Nothing about it. Ray, you weren't here. Plead the fifth. I can, I can gladly plead the fifth on this one. <laughs> yeah, I don't know anything about this neither. I, I don't remember anything. I mean, obviously, it looks like Susan and Ron were the two that had the conversations here. Uh. Yeah. He's looking. He's did talk to Ron, so hang on, Matt. You know. I'm even notary can that too. Oh, that's good to know. Oh, yeah. Uh, I was told by hand there were two main Wayne expenses, Wayne's expenses. One was for renovation of the bathroom and boiler room, electrical due to water sewer failure, new plumbing electrical lines installed. I think these expenses were long done and paid. The second was a major rewiring of the building electrical panel which the state fire marshal inspector put in uh, with the town on notice for, for several years ago. And that work was planned for the summer of 2023, but I did not hear if that work was done. 
uh, require the office to close for a long weekend with cost scenes to match that estimate. Not aware of any other office electrical work. And then that's when I did reply to um, Mark asking for a quote to finish up that project. And like I said, again, I haven't received so it today. Would there be something from this notice from the fire marshal then that says this needs to be done? Maybe. I mean, I can pull that up and see. Yeah. I mean, you would think if the fire marshal put us on notice for it, then. Well, then he thought, but he said he thought that was done too. No, no he right? said the, the, the parts were. Were he said the amount the, gotcha, he said gotcha, the gotcha. amount is on par with what that was project was. I think was the way I read it. Right, got it. Yes. Okay. I mean, it's a, it's it basically says we they look at the parts list. It's a it's a whole new panel by the looks, and there it's all new breakers. It's a two hundred amp service basically. But like I said during the transition on board, like this wasn't brought to my attention by nobody <laughs> from the scene. Well, I don't I don't know that anybody from the board knew much about this, to be honest. I mean, I think it was something Ron was probably taking care of because of the fire marshal and it was probably just happened. I don't know. But all this like a bathroom is being renovated, maybe we that's already done. Because that's what I thought at first as well. But that's already been done and paid, so this is something separate. And he's the parts can't be returned, so that's why he's billing us for them. I mean, I guess the reality is, is that there's a warning from the fire marshal, and it has to be done. And so I think we need to find that, and I think we, I mean, this work must have been authorized by the select board. It had to have been, right? Yeah, I think some. I think we need to do some research on that. I don't. Yeah, we've been trying to do some research and get more information. That's why I wanted to bring it to you guys tonight. Um, I'm so also struggling with. I, I, I'm not an electrician, but these are like normal items. What I'm seeing, but maybe so. All research for final Yeah, and see if because I mean, if a fire marshal did tell us to do some repairs that must have been brought to the select board too so like when was that so yeah um so with that said mark obviously is you know wayne's electric's looking for payment but i think i uh i'll actually give him a call and tell him that we need to do some more research on this before we can pay this uh, he's looking guys, for payment for parts that he got in 2023, but so he haven't he hasn't done the work yet. No, no, he he hasn't done it. Yeah, and we don't really even know. We asked him for a, a for the labor and the work that needs to be done, and he he hadn't responded to Brent yet. So we're yeah, waiting. All it for says that. is that he needs to make time and arrangements with the office to be able to be shut down for two or three days. And Matt, when I did ask for an itemized bill, because me and Jen were talking about that, again, being more, I told him to be more transparent. If you could send us an itemized bill, I did ask for a quote for the completion of this work to be sent at the same time. Yeah. We might want to look around June 20. Two, that's when the water's like the sewer failed, the septic, and all the repairs were being done to so downstairs. So maybe there was something talked about in June of twenty two. Yeah. Okay. So I'll we'll kind of we might. I'll call Wayne's and let them know that we're going to hold off Jen. Well, so, and ask him to give us a quote to finish the job. Yeah. Because obviously. Well, he did ask. Yeah. We'll we'll tell him tell him. Ask you. Yeah. Get it to us because if it's something that has to be done, then. I'll get the farm. Right. And if we're going to pay for the parks, then we might as well get the job done. You know, uh, get 
I'll start with the three minutes of June 22. Okay. And then I'll ask you again for a quote. Cool. Okay. Thank you. Um, we don't need to do any open discussion today. Open meeting law. The town boards and committees are now required to record their meetings. We do that anyway, so we're good, but there's other committees and boards that do not. Um, there's also mandatory open meeting law training. We have at least what those trainings are and when they are, but it sounds like that's effective maybe January 1st of 2025. Okay. Not quite yet, but on the radar. For all members of committees in your town? Yep. Okay. Planning Commission, DRB, non state part. That's why it's so very well, right? Just the DRB doesn't. Justin, work. Justin, you're really hard to hear. I don't know if you can turn the mic. But... Yeah. Yep. Um, yeah. So all town boards and committees are required to record their meetings, and town boards and committee members are required to attend open meeting law trainings per the S55, effective July 1st. So I'll send out an email to all of the town boards and committees that I have the contact information for and let them know of this um, and follow up with training events that I hear of. It's not the same one that we already went to. I think it's part of it, no. but it didn't specifically say yet. It was a very fast action type of thing from what I can gather coming from the state. Got it. Along with... Um, completely like entirely remote meetings are no longer allowed as of July 1st. So there must be a physical location for the meeting. Okay. Oh, so if we want to have a special no meeting. No more special meeting. Well, we did last time. Remember Susan came down here? Oh, right. Yeah. So it can be a staff member or somebody. Just okay. somebody needs to be. No, we were good with that. Okay. But if we wanted to do a complete special meeting online, that's not allowed. Okay. Yep. Okay. Uh, real quick, just yeah. to add to the ATV uh, conversation, mm -hmm. uh, would it be possible to word it Hyde Park Roads north of Route 15 are open until we talk to the village? Is that okay if we word it that way? Sure. Okay. D should we do a new motion? Nothing um, would be open like now until we waited to the town, or is there a wait process or anything like that? No, it's no. good to go. Just the village yeah. roads are. So the motion was um to open roads in Hyde Park for ATV riding, village roads pending trustee approval. So but since that is a town road, I want to make sure that they're on board with this. So we'll just say north of 15 until I get with the uh, the, the trustees. One thing I guess we'd want to consider too is are we talking about the village zoning district or are we clarifying the village as something else? Because the village district goes on to Battle Row Road a little bit, which is north of 15. Yes. So just a thing about. Yeah, no, just this part is what I'm concerned about. Anything north of Route 15. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Good call. Okay. Just want to make sure it's your chat. Okay. Uh, municipal plan update with planning commissions. Okay. Down here. Planning Commission. Um, yep. So the village and town, yeah, the village and town planning commissions are meeting to update the municipal plan. They're meeting monthly on Tuesdays at six o'clock. Um, at the last meeting in June, two village plan commission members attended. The is recommended that the select board and the municipal plan decisions and, um. Yeah, plan basically align. So when the select board makes a decision, that decision should reflect in the town plan mm -hmm. and vice versa. So recommend having a select board member attend, not to make any action items or anything, but just to 
weigh in on the conversation and hear what they're discussing and bring that back to the select board. Um, Brent Sheets had also mentioned going there. I think my opinion, Nicole Children would be a really good person for that as she's been in the village with the Lamoille Community House and she's also on the Hyde Park Select Board. Um, yep, that's my piece. And I think I think I think Brent going makes sense. Yes. Too. I mean <laughs> we wanted this, right, Matt? Yeah. Yeah. You know. We want the the collaboration. So uh, all about all about Nicole going, but I think that yeah, Brent and I already talked about it. We're oh, gonna yeah. Okay. yeah, we already talked about it. We're gonna okay. do it together. Oh great. Okay. Well thank you. Uh so we're gonna need to have a special select board meeting for the tax rate. So be prepared for that. Um, and then this was me. I want to change our August select board meeting, um, the date. And I forgot what we decided on, August 17th. Justin's on vacation and so am I. <laughs> so we decided that we might just move it, make it easier on everybody. Um, August 20th. Sorry, we'd like to move it to August 20th. Does anybody have any issues with that? I'm fine with that. Okay. And then December meetings, um, our meeting would fall on Christmas Eve. You know, I love you guys and would love to spend holidays with you, but I think we should change that meeting as well. <laughs> um, Agreed. So we're gonna we're just thinking ahead so we can update the website and you know be transparent on our meetings. So um and we'll probably obviously you know in December is budget time, so we'll probably have the Hyde Park or excuse me, North Hyde Park Eden budget meetings usually the first part of December. So we'll have that meeting in December as well. Um what's the date in December we changed to? December 3rd for the North Hyde Park or the Eden meeting mm -hmm. and December 17th for the regular meeting. Okay. December what? December. Okay. December 3rd and December 17th. December 3rd will be the uh, Pepper Fire Station. North, North Hyde Park. Yeah. Um, so if someone could make a motion for those changes, that would be great. Um, I'll make the motion to move the May, uh, the second August 27th meeting to the 20th, and then December 24th, we won't meet and we'll meet then December 3rd and December 17th. And the third will be at the North Bay Park Fire Station. Second. I'll second that. All those in favor, signify by saying. Uh, aye. Aye. Opposed, abstain. Perfect. Thank you, guys. Um, did you guys have time to read the minutes or? Yes. Okay. Um, I move that we approve the minutes as presented. I'll second that. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Sustain. I think I have to, I, the last meeting I was oh, not there, so. That's right. I have to that to yep. Uh, we talked about. Speed limit signs. Ooh, the welcome signs in the North High Park. Getting closer. Yeah. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I moved along. <laughs> I know basically nothing. Yeah. Um, I know that we had we've received the quotes for the North Hyde Park welcome signs, and we haven't approved those quotes. Okay. Um, the planning commission has a preferred option, but budget comes with select board. So should we put that on the next agenda with the quotes for approval? Yep. Uh, does anyone know uh, Jen saw no Jen left? Yeah. Okay. I was wondering if we have designated or for funds or anything like that uh, for those signs. Feel like we oh. did. Uh Maybe not, but put it as a possible for ARPA, for sure. I saw, 
I thought this was a discussion out of the sidewalk fund. It was coming out of the sidewalk funds for the North Hill Park. Or maybe I'm wrong. No, I don't remember that. Could it come out of that? We'll talk about that at the next meeting because Jen's gone too. So, and we don't have the quotes anyway. So. Yeah. Okay. Um, and the ribbon ceremony for the community house. Is it ready? <laughs> I'm close. 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 So that I'm is close to that will be for Friday. There you go. And that I finally have just decided that. That I can't not do it all. That's right. Between I can't do it all. Okay. Myself. So, so just so everybody knows that the ribbon ceremony is Friday. This Friday, from ten to twelve, up on Clark Drive. So good luck. I can't be there. I'm out of town. But I'll, I'll be. Fine. I'll be happier on Sunday when we lose everything. Completely from one place to the other. There you go. <laughs> Nothing late. <laughs> <laughs> Is that open to the public? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The ribbon cutting? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and the union contract we already did, so we're good. There's one other oh, thing geez. right now. <laughs> um just want to bring up for the next meeting, but just so it's on your radar. I believe it's the Hyde Park Memorial Valley Rail Trail Committee currently has Al Spitzer mm -hmm. as a member. And according to Victoria Helwig, he has not been to the meetings. And Valerie Valcor is interested as being the um, representative for Hyde Park. Okay. So... It's not a warrant action item, so we could either make the motion to change that or discuss that later date or yeah, we'll there. put it yeah, we'll do okay. that. So yeah, that's good. And that's all for me. Okay. Anybody else? Matt, Savannah? Savannah, where are you? Hey, you know, you're somewhere in Virginia, West Virginia, I think. Oh, nice. Ten, ten hours and fifty minutes from home. I should be there at six oh one tomorrow morning. Oh, you're driving through the night? Oh. We we drove straight down. We left yesterday at three o'clock. Okay, we'll drive safe. You will. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Savannah. Hey, I have a question for you. You know, okay. you know when you're done. Can I what? No, uh, you're all set. You're oh. All set. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Bye. We need to make a motion bye. to adjourn. Oh, make a motion to adjourn first. I'm gonna make the motion. Hey, is someone gonna be there if I come down and assign those? Yep. We'll okay. be here okay. in like what fifteen. Six. Six, yeah. Okay. Six minutes. Did you second the adjournment? I second that adjournment. All right. In favor. Second. Bye. 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 Bye.